welcome back to my chaos everyone today we are taking on the octopus hoodie i got from dress lily a few months back that did not fit me it was too tight in the collar it was too tight around the arms and it was just a size too small so we're gonna take off the side seams we are gonna take off the hood and we are gonna fix the collar and we are gonna be awesome doing it. I've never done this before, so I'm just hoping it works, but I can't wear it as it is, so I gotta do something. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the side seams from the waist to the wristband on both sides. I left my waist waistband, bleh. I left my waistband and my wristband both intact. I did not cut them, and I used whatever method I could. I used the seam ripper, I used scissors, and I used a tiny pair of scissors. Just do what you ever have. Just do whatever you have to to get it done. Once that's all out, I you can once that's all out, you can see here what it looks like. Big open side on the left, big open side Why on the right. Why did you get it if it's a size too and small? And I took the hoodie and opened it up from shoulder to shoulder and it's still attached in the back, so I didn't take the whole thing out. Now find yourself the middle of your hoodie. Mark it with a piece of Taylor's chalk. And make a one and a half inch cut right down the middle. I say it's one and a half inches. I didn't really measure. I just kind of like cut a little cut and then I figured if it's too small, I can just make a bigger cut later. But if it's too big, I'm kind of screwed because you can't exactly make a big cut smaller. It, it don't work like that. I cut myself a three inch wide band of black fabric for each side of the hoodie. Now once I had that done, I pinned it into place on one side and sewed it up. And when I sewed the other side, I just let the fabric sew itself into a triangle at the bottom where the wrist and the, um, the waistband was. So it just kind of like tapers off instead of just makes a square and stop and abruptly. So it's really hard to explain what I did when I'm not exactly sure what I did. And you do that to both sides.
I didn't feel safe or confident enough in my skills of sewing to put a straight line on this hoodie for the neck, like a, 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 an actual V. So I did um, a soft V neck without any sharp angles. And I'm glad I did because it was a heck of a lot easier. I just cut it down a bit more with the scissors. I surged the hood back to the sweater when I really should have just outright sewed it like normal, but you know, I live and learn. Because then afterwards I had to actually go over and re-sew it again because the serger had skipped a few small places. Then sew yourself a top stitch in the color matching your fabric that you have the best. Cut off all your loose threads and voila, you are done. This process, not knowing what I was doing when I went into it, probably took me about two hours, but it was worth it because now I have something that fits me and I can wear it and I love it. And I'm trying to talk myself out of actually buying a purple one so I can turn it into like a zip up hoodie in the front because I don't need two octopus hoodies. I mean, I could definitely wear two of them, but I don't need to, oh my fucking God, I love it. Oh! The dancing is not acting. I am really just that happy. Oh my God, I'm just happy, I love it. I love it, 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 I love it! I wish that I had done this when it first came in instead of just letting it hang in my closet <clears throat> in the hopes that I'll lose 20 pounds magically by doing absolutely nothing. Anyway, I thank you everybody and I will see you next week hopefully with another video. Bye!